So I just received the AirTag and the Belkin AirTag holder, and I'm not someone who owns an iPhone 12 or 12 Pro or even iPhone 11 or 11 Pro. I've got a, an iPhone XS Max, so this phone doesn't have the U1 chip. So is it actually worth you picking up an AirTag and give you sort of my initial impressions of it, see how it connects to a normal iPhone or an older iPhone, and see if it's worth you picking up one of these if your phone doesn't have a U1 chip. So here we have the AirTag and the Belkin case. So let's open up the AirTag and see what that's like. I'm just going to remove that. Uh, there's probably not a nice way of doing this. So let's just rip into this thing. Oh, there you go. There's a little green tab. I should have watched a few videos on this before doing this, but I'm just too excited to watch anything else. So there's some material regarding the AirTag and stuff like this. And... Nice, it's a, a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, but still pretty small. Um, here's some instructions, so obviously update your phone, which I've already done, and then it says obviously hold near the device. So I'm just going to leave that open, I'm just going to throw away this rubbish to the side. And let's see what this Belkin case is like, because I'm going to chuck it straight away on this, and then attach these to my keys, because honestly, I lose my keys way too often. So the case I just got in white just because it suits the air tag I think and okay so looks pretty easy I think you just attach the air tag and then just slide it in we've also got the ring as well so I've got my iPhone just over here so let's pull this out so there's the air tag so again just next to the iPhone XS Max that's sort of the the size of it and let's open this up Okay, so not sure if you heard that. There you go. So it says air tag found. So that's a pretty cool animation, actually. So let's click connect. And this is going to be on my keys. And say, yeah, use this iPhone. There you go. So it's got my details just over there. So we're going to press continue. And there you go, all set up. So it's going to tell me where it is. It says, obviously, it's with me. So it knows at least uh, where it is. So let's see how easy it is to use one of these. Because I think a lot of people are probably going to pick up the Belkin one or something similar. Just because of, well, it's price point. Uh, it's not $35 or pounds for just a leather case. So there's the thing. It doesn't... I mean, I'm just going to throw it around just... This is probably going to kill some of you guys, me doing this. But, you know, round the keys, I mean, that's that looks pretty secure. I thought it would possibly pop out. But let's just slam it down. Let's just see. Oh, hello. No. So it's not falling out. And I think once you attach this, which I'll do now, then, yeah, it. I think it's going to be really secure on a set of keys. So let's open this up and see what it looks like in the app. But... Looks pretty nice. It looks, you know, really shiny. Again, I've seen some reports that this is going to scratch up really, really easily. So as you can see in the app, it says my keys and then we can add a new item or identify found item. So I'm just going to tap on that. We're going to see so we can play a sound. So let's try that. It's not as loud as I thought thought it was going to be. Um, that sounds pretty muffled. So I've just taken it out of the case just to see what it's like. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound any different in the case and w outside of the case. So uh, definitely not the, the loudest item. So here it says obviously the directions and then we got notifications. So uh, stuff like that. We can enable loss mode, we can rename the item and then obviously remove the item. So so that's the Apple AirTag in a nutshell. I mean, if you don't know what this is, obviously it's a tile-like uh, product where it finds your items uh, and with the U1 chip, it allows you to track it more accurately. But with a standard iPhone like this, 
uh, it doesn't really add any functionality on top of what, let's say, a tile or some other manufacturers are doing. Um, the best trackers, I would say, if you don't have uh, an iPhone that has the U1 chip, would probably be something with the Find My Network because you get access to that. And there are plenty of thinner um, and, to be honest, cheaper uh, trackers than this. So, in my opinion, I think that even though that this is, yes, part of Apple and stuff like that, I wouldn't exactly recommend this. If you are someone who doesn't upgrade their phones very often, and let's say you're running uh, something sort of pre-iPhone 11, um, and you don't plan on upgrading your phone very often, I would say that this is pretty expensive, because even with the cheapest case and the cheapest um, AirTag, you know, this was, I think, £29, and the case was like, 12 pounds so that's 42 pounds for a tracker whereas i've seen trackers with a keychain built into it for less than uh the cost of this sort of 30 pounds maybe even 35 pounds and obviously you're not just going to have this one you're going to have a whole bunch of them so in my opinion i think that the u1 chip uh, would be pretty cool using this, but I think that if you are someone who doesn't have an iPhone 11, then this might be an overpriced uh, Bluetooth tracker. However, saying that, obviously we all upgrade our devices. You know, I'm not gonna be sticking around with this phone for much longer. For now, this really doesn't do anything more than any other Bluetooth tracker that uses the Find My Network. But potentially when I upgrade my phone and, you know, it has the U1 chip, then obviously having that functionality is going to be a huge difference uh, to me finding my items. But for now, playing the sound pretty much will locate me to where my item is. I mean, having that extra functionality, I don't know if the U1 chip will actually be that useful. I think it might just be easier to just play the sound and locate your item like that, uh, especially in a crowded place. Maybe the U1 chip might make sense, but yeah, I, I think I've just got to play around this more before I actually review this thing. Like I said, this is just an initial impression and to just see if it will do anything more uh, in a normal iPhone than with an iPhone 12 or 11, like I've seen so many videos uh, on this about. Anyway, I'm not gonna keep rambling because this has been a long video on pretty much a very uh, ordinary product. So if you've enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more Apple content. It will be a lot more interesting than this Apple tag, that's for sure. Uh, but if you want to see more content from me, like more interesting content than this, uh, please go ahead, hit any one of those two videos that you see over here. Honestly, you enjoy them. I put a lot of effort into these videos, so really will appreciate it. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.